Hi guys, it's another vlog day today. So uh, we did the stucco spraying stucco tutorial yesterday, and today Stefan's coming over. It's Saturday, so Stefan's gonna come over, and we are gonna go to an antique store because it's been a while since we just went and bought like junk for the haunted house to put in rooms and things. So we're gonna go check it out. There's a there's one one town over in Chesterton that we're going to go look at, see if there's anything cool um, and inexpensive. And we're also, as long as the weather cooperates, we're going to try to spray on another coat of stucco um, as well as trowel in some on like the spots where the pieces come together. Um, trowel in some on all those so that it, it covers those up so we'll show you some of that we're not going to do a complete tutorial so stay tuned that's all coming right now so <clears throat> I'm almost to Stefan's house and uh, I decided to play some music on my phone and I think I'm I'm gonna start this in the vlog so every time I vlog I'll tell you like what my my song of the day is and to start out today we have two song number one that I played was um, Bell on Black Days by Soundgarden and song number two song of the day number two is Rooster by Alice in Chains so give those a listen I would play them for you, but I'm not allowed because you know copyright and stuff. So I'm at Seven's house, picking them up. We're going to go to the store, see if they have any cool stuff. So check out those songs. I like them. They're interesting, and they get me in haunting mood for whatever reason. So, yeah. So here we are, Yesterday's Treasures. Like an original, original Aunt Jemima. Miss Buttersworth. Yeah, her too. But no, it's glass. Yeah, I can see that. Oh yeah. no, this says Jemima. I'm more interested in this. That's what we Halloween. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Bubbles? Nope. Juicy melon. Hollywood. Halloween is everywhere. Let me see if they still have it. Nope. Ooh. This is where that big counter was. That I was telling you about, but it looks like it's gone. That's cool. Oh, here you go. This is very steampunk. There's some monsters. Here, Stefan, this is for your, your new costume. We're going to get you a cute dress. I don't think so. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah, that, uh, this might be where the, we got the one I have. Look at that. Oh, I want a bugle. Really bad. That is really cool. Universal Monsters. I like Dracula's mustache. Includes rotating display stand. Cool. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Frankenstein. 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 Blazing Saddles. Great movie. Open the doors. This is weird. So we found this really creepy rabbit looking toy. Yes. That adjuster's kind of cool. Even too. I can see up your dress. Is that Einstein? Real to real player. Projectoscope. I love old advertising like this. This box is great. That's awesome. And this. Sorry, I closed my thing, but here's the actual. I don't know if it's a camera or what. It's a projector. Mold or heat resistant. High impact abuse resistant. 
I wonder. Something we could actually use in the haunt. It's it's an old punch clock. I might come back and actually buy that. So just because I like old like Halloweeny stuff, there's a uh, old viewfinder for Casper's Ghostland, and there's another one back here. It says Dark Shadows right there. You can kind of see. It. I wish I could see like the art. There's like a, a guy right there. Looks like he's next to a casket or something. There's some spider webs. Um, I don't see any other like, Halloween type. That could be the. Um... So not Halloween related, unless you connected to Halloween Horror Nights. But they've got these awesome Bill and Ted's collecting cards. It says, 10 triumphant cards, most atypical movie cards." A bodacious trip to San Dimas, California, or some other non-bogus prize. Excellent! So, our next Halloween-related thing, we've got th the thing from the Adams Family. We believe it's a, a bank, so there's a hand in there that actually comes out. So, like, you put a coin here, and I guess there's a hand that comes out and grabs it to put it in the bank, and it's, like, the thing. But... The guy wants a hundred dollars for this, which let me know in the comments if you think that's crazy, because I do. So I was flipping through some comics and I found some more Halloween stuff. Yay! And there's a Dark Shadows comic book and Ghost Manor. I don't know what Ghost Manor is, but I know Dark Shadows is the one that I have never watched the original show, but it was remade with Johnny Depp a few years back. I always love these old comics because they have these like these old um, ads in them and they're just they're great like 69 cents a piece like, just awesome to see these look that's that's a great noise <laughs> our next Halloween find Vampire, Mickey Mouse, and a pumpkin. I love it. I also really like that fan, these boxes, a creepy cane on my shoulder, and these lanterns. I like how that one has like the directional thing. It's like an early flashlight. That's so, what you're looking for. Yeah, look, and there's a creepy you're looking cane. Step. So I'm kind of astonished because I've never seen one of these in real life. I've only seen them in like the movies. So here, look. There's an old school picnic basket. Like, in the movies, they like the cartoons. It's so cool. And there's two of them. I, won't, I, I wouldn't use this in the haunted house, but I'm tempted to buy it just because it's awesome. And there's two of them. When I get some more money, I might come back and actually buy that. So, I really like all these old Coke and other pop bottles. Some of them I've never even heard of, like that says Tomboy. And there's a Notre Dame pot back there. And then these are really cool. They're like steampunk type lanterns. It's really interesting. So this trunk is really cool. Not just because it's an old trunk, because it's from this guy who's apparently in the infantry. I wish it had a date. Um... He was a I can't tell. Look how creepy this is. It's like this skinny guy with an awesome mustache on a unicycle in front of like some curtains. It's so creepy. Fan of the opera. And he doesn't really have anything under his face. So creepy, right? So, we didn't find anything that we actually wanted to buy because we didn't bring like that kind of cash. We saw a lot of stuff that we liked in there, but like I said, we didn't bring that kind of money with to just go in there and, and to buy a bunch of stuff that we could live without. So, I've got something from my mom, not haunted house related, but that's that. So, we're heading back home, then we're going to go to the casino in a few hours, so fun, fun.